hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel to go find elungu back with another reaction video if you're new to this channel make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe like i said my name is fanny lungu if you're new welcome if you're not welcome back thank you for 20,000 subscribers keep liking keep commenting keep sharing and i mean keep supporting us keep watching and of course don't forget to motivate me by giving me stuff to react to i'll be more than glad to react to whatever you guys suggest don't be limited in your suggestions just feel free to suggest anything you'd love to see on our channel and we'll do it or i'll actually do it so today i'm going to be reacting to the bible and christianity is mocking jesus christ i mean to do that so without wasting time let's get into the video my point to you, sir, is this, that at the start of your uh, well-prepared and well-researched talk, you referred to Jesus Christ as Hazrat Isa alayhi salam. I, as a Muslim, like yourself, believe in Hazrat Isa alayhi salam as a true prophet of God. As your then talk went on, I got the feeling, perhaps I was alone in getting that feeling, maybe other people who listened to your talk uh, in an open-minded fashion as I did, I tried to do it. I got the feeling that at times, with due respect, you, you appeared to mock Hazrat Isa al-Islam, Nauzubillah. You appeared to mock his teachings. And therefore, I feel that if that feeling is correct, that in the course of your talk, you have not only, again with due respect, not only contradicted yourself, but also misrepre misrepresented the teachings of Islam, which are to respect all the true prophets of Allah. What are your comments on this? Before you move away from the mic, you see, you made an allegation, very serious allegation, that I mocked Jesus. I just want you to give one example. One example. Look, I spoke for more than an hour. Surely you can give one example. Let the people hear what mocking did I do as a Muslim. One, one example. Let them hear. Uh, Hazrat Isa al-Islam's teachings were true teachings of Allah and Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's teachings were uh, a development of those teachings and an expansion of those teachings as you so correctly said to the world at large. But uh, in, your, the, in the way you delivered your speech and the way you referred to Hazrat Isa al-Islam in the course of your speech there was no particular example as such, but one and a quarter hour, you can't give one example of mockery, but you, you did say that these things were incorrect, and that please quote, please quote. What you have to do is, look, give examples. Now, if you were a Christian, I would have been happy to deal with you as a Christian. Because if you said I made mockery, I said this is what the Bible says. This is how the Bible put it. He said, O generation of wipers, you whited sepulchers, you wicked and adulterous generation. Now, if that is offensive to anybody, I said, these are not my words. I never spoke like that. I never uttered words to that effect. You see, that you fools, you hypocrites, you brood of snakes. You know who's talking like that? Jesus in the Bible. He says, you brood of snakes, you wicked and adulterous generation. Do you know all that? Do you know that Jesus speaks like that? The Christians say, this is how Jesus spoke. You know, he insulted his mother. He said, woman, what have I to do with you? You know that? Am I making a mockery or is the Bible making a mockery of the man? I want to know. If you were a Christian, I could have asked you. I said, look, man, you don't know your own book. I'm only quoting you what he's supposed to have said. He said, do not throw the bread of the children to the dogs. Now you must come forward. The Christian must come forward and say, look, Jesus never said any such thing. I am making a mockery of his religion. I said, look, this is what Jesus said. He said, do not throw that which is holy into dogs. Do not throw pearls before swine. Am I making a mockery of you making a mockery? If you are a Christian, I say, you are making a mockery of Jesus. <laughs> this mighty messenger of God, whom we believe that he was born miraculously. Am I right? He was born miraculously as a Muslim, we believe without any male intervention, this book gives us two genealogies of Jesus, Matthew and Luke. They give you 66 fathers and grandfathers to a man who had no father. 
Now, I want to know who's making a mockery, the Quran or the Bible. 66 fathers and grandfathers to a man who had no father. And out of the two lists given by Matthew and Luke, there's only one name common to the both lists. Joseph the carpenter. And he's not supposed to be there. Because he's not the actual father of Jesus. Am I right? He was a Muslim. But he is supposed to be the father of Jesus Christ. And Luke says so. Luke says, and Jesus happened to be about 30 years of age when he began to preach. Who being the son of Joseph. Who being the son of Joseph. That's what Luke says. In the words are there, after that in brackets, as was supposed. And if you ask any Christian scholar, any Christian scholar, what are these words doing in brackets? They will tell you that Luke in his manuscripts, in the Codex Sinaiticus, Codex Vaticanus, Codex Alexandrianus, these words are not there. These are the words of the editors. So Luke said that Jesus is the son of Joseph. As was supposed are your words, man's words. Who is making a mockery of Jesus? The Muslim or the Christian? So you see, you as a Muslim, it was very, very unfair. The unkindliest cut was from you. I would have preferred a Christian to say that, then I could have presented all these things to him. Very, very interesting. It's rare that we have Muslims that feel uncertain about what the fellow Muslim has said. Especially, you know, it's just, just, it's just rare. Otherwise, if you find such a thing, then I don't know. When it comes to the teachings of Jesus, of course, many people are going to have different views. Many, many people, not just Muslims, not just Christians, many people across the world are going to have different views. And how sometimes you say something, another person will take will take it as you're demeaning the character of someone or their teachings. Even if it was Dr. Zaki Naik that we were talking about, or just Amit that we were talking about, if I say today, I feel like he should have said this better, or I feel like he could have said this instead of this, there's always someone out there that's watching that's going to say, but you know nothing, but you know this, you don't understand, you're missing the point, don't say this, don't say that. There's always going to be that person. Because someone is misunderstanding you doesn't mean you shouldn't clarify it to them. Because someone, you know someone is going to misunderstand you doesn't mean you shouldn't express your opinion. Do I think the person asking the question was in the wrong? No, I don't. Do I think Dr. Abin Dizar was do I think I Amit mean, that was wrong? I haven't even watched the one hour speech that he gave. I can't say anything. But from the little that we get from this, just their exchange, it seems like there's a misunderstanding of whatever was shared. Whether the misunderstanding is true, whether the misunderstanding is right, then it only they can know. I haven't watched it. Only they can know. But whatever the case is, at least he stood up to us. Not many people are going to question someone they actually believe or someone whose teachings they actually follow or someone whose um, preachings they follow. Not many people do that. Some people just go with this, this, this and they're agreeing with you, agreeing with you. If you don't understand something, always go back. That's why in class they ask you to ask questions because they want you to understand that particular topic. But then if you're not going to ask questions, then you'll never understand what they're trying to say. What if you misunderstand something? It's you that gets to lose out in life. That's what I have to say about this. Let me know what you guys think and what you have to say about the guy that asked the question and how did that answer it. If there's something you want me to react to, let me know down below. And I'll be more than glad to react to it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next reaction video.